Okay, so Rhythmia as a resort, and I'm not endorsing um, Rhythmia itself, although I, I am um, recommending, I'm recommending. It's, as far as I know, and as far as they know, it is um, one of the, or the only retreat, plant medicine, ayahuasca retreat that has on site 24 seven medical staff. So this is one of the reasons why I decided, I did look at other places. I did, within the US there are places. I also did um, look internationally and decided to stick with Rhythmia for that reason. Not that it's particularly dangerous, but better to be safe than sorry. I've never done it before. So, um, and I'm willing to pay up for that benefit. So I, I chose to go to Rhythmia. It's a luxury resort. It, the grounds are beautiful. There are only, there are a few cabins and there's only space for uh, 90 people, which sounds like a lot when you are, when you're doing this. Other videos I've seen, there's about 10 people, five or 10 people. And um, I, I would, I don't know if that's preferred or not. I've only done this ceremony this one way. But what I can say is that it, it wasn't terrible doing these ceremonies with so many people. Um, I don't know any difference. Um, but that also this great sense of community that it created is a beautiful thing. So I just think that it's, it's beneficial just from what I went through for everyone to go through this. So I would say the more people you can get to do this, the better. Anyway, but the point is, it's not a terribly big resort because there are only, there's only room for 90 people and it you can go to this resort without doing the ceremonies, but it's really, there's nothing else to do at night besides the ceremonies. So it doesn't really make sense to go and not do it. However, um, people do, spouses, things like that. Um, you may go and not be able to do the ceremony, so it is possible to go. Anyway, the point is that, so there are, I don't know how many cabins, but if you figure two per room. Now, there's only, you can pay more to get your own room, but they will pair you with someone else if you are traveling singly, right? Because they wanna get as many people in as possible. So you, and when I called, um, because I had intended to go alone, when I called and I, I said, well, it's my 50th birthday and I wanna get my own room, um, the, his name was Daniel, the person, the representative from Rhythmia said, it's, it's even if you don't know someone, it's really better to room with someone else because you can share your experiences. And having gone through it, I would suggest that that is the case. First, I would suggest you go with someone, uh, but plenty of people go alone and everyone there is so friendly. Um, the staff remembers your name. How do they remember everyone's name? Every week it changes, but they remember my name. Um, so the staff is very friendly. They consider everyone family. They know everyone by name. They, um, the people who go there are very friendly. Uh, I, I don't know if it was half, but I would say about half people had already been there before. Well, I met one couple that goes every year. So um, it's just a really, really positive place. It's, I mean, the grounds are beautiful. The accommodations are, um, I wouldn't call them luxury yet, but I would say that they're U.S. Uh, on the upper end of U.S. accommodations. It's Costa Rica, and I've been to Costa Rica before. You had to, uh, we had to put our toilet paper in the garbage, and you don't have to do that here, <laughs> at least outside of the ceremony. So in your own room, you can flush the toilet paper because they have American plumbing. So that's great. Um, so it was, it was a very nice property the amenities are nice the food was um amazing they didn't have pork or beef but they do serve chicken and i can't remember i think we had turkey one night so there is 
protein, uh, but the food is all fresh and the fruit is so good. Oh, every day I had a heaping mounds of fresh, ripe, juicy watermelon and pineapple. So, so, so good. Um, the food was delicious and they had these banana muffins every day I had for breakfast. They were so good. The pool is gorgeous. It's heated by the sun. It was almost, it was in the nineties for the high every day that we were there. And we were there in January. It was very hot, um, but pleasant. Not a lot of bugs. Um, uh, not one day we had some wind, but other than that, the weather was beautiful. They have a lot of birds um, with interesting calls. And there's monkeys, we didn't see monkeys, but there are monkeys and there's two dogs on the property that run around and um, yeah. So it's just a, a wonder, the energy there is amazing. It's beautiful and um, so that's the physical nature of the resort. Now the experience. So you check in, you go through a medical eval and for your safety, obviously and theirs and you uh, you go to your room, the room is beautiful, you can do whatever you want in the resort. They offer yoga every morning and by a wonderfully, wonderfully positive and um, love spewing yogi named Victor and he was just amazing. If you could bottle him, it would be, you'd be rich. Um, and they offer classes. There are a number of classes that are, they say are mandatory. The classes, you know, nothing's gonna happen to you if you don't go, but they have a program there and they've come up with this program. We were the 302nd class. So that means that there were 302 or 301 other weeks that upward, you know, up to 90 people um, did four ceremonies. So they know what they're doing they have created this program to maximize the benefits of the ceremonies. And um, when they asked us in one of the classes, how many people was it their first time doing plant medicine, about half of us raised their hand and, you know, they, they kind of gasped because there was a time where people would, the people populating these weeks were people who've done this before and wanted to, just real. They said this was kind of the, I don't know if they said this was the Harvard of experiences, right? This is this, this experience at this location is not just, Hey, I want to try plant medicine or, Hey, I want to, uh, to trip out or, Hey, I want to get high. This is, Hey, I want to make change in my life. I want to make great, positive forward change in a week. And, um, whoo, <laughs> yeah, it does. So they know what they're doing. Anyway, there's mandatory classes and then there are other classes. So there's plenty to do during the week. You get one, one complimentary massage, which was amazing. And Javier was my masseuse and, oh, thank you, Javier. And, uh, and then you get two free complimentary hydrocolonics. Yeah, never did that before. Worth a shot. Interesting experience. Feel real bad for those people that have to work there, but they have smiles on their faces. Um, so, but um, yeah, interesting. And thank goodness they have these hydrocolonics because, uh, so I did my first high colonic the uh, first day, the day of our first ceremony. I did the high colonic at 1 p.m. The ceremony started at 5.30 p.m. And um, yeah, you think you're cleaned out from a high colonic. Nope. <laughs>